Maravilha. Uhum. Start at three again. Um, it says, uh, St. Matthews 18 and 3, and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. Whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. It's why it's all about a child, man. The children are humble. Ah. Like whatever you learned in this life is bullshit. The school system, whatever you thought, when you come to the truth, you know what? All that was bullshit. Christopher Columbus, Christopher Columbus, a uh, uh, Christmas. It's all bullshit. Then you find out who. Then you find out who you are, what your customs are, what your heritage, and and you become reborn again, and you try to follow law, statute, commandments to the best of your ability. That's what it means to be reborn again. But guess what? Two-thirds, you don't want to be reborn again. So guess what? You literally gonna have to die and come back as a uh, come back in the kingdom as a child. And you're gonna be raised in the law, statute, commandments. It's gonna be enforced in in your household and in the community you're living in, which is gonna be in Israel and Jerusalem. And it's gonna be beautiful. Our kingdom's gonna be glorious. This is for the two-thirds. For the ones of you that don't want to be reborn again, you don't want to hear this. I don't want I want to do me. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We, we're going to see you in the kingdom. You're going to come out of us, man. We're your future fathers, man. All right? And we're going to show you love. What's love? The law, statute, commandments. And you're going to know this, man. And it's going to be embedded in your spirit. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. Go ahead. <clears throat> and so, uh, whoso shall receive... Oh, wait, wait. Whosoever shall humble himself as his little child, the same is greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Mm-hmm. And who so oh, the same is greatest. So this thing is about humility. Before honor comes what? Humility. humility. Which humility means what? Humiliation. That's why scripture say, I will give you fame in the land you put to shame. There's a reward and prize for this, man, which is the kingdom of heaven. And the Lord's going to give us back our women, our glory. He's going to give us back our children, who we love. That's what we're fighting for. We fight for our children and our women. When we're out there teaching, we're out there doing these videos, we fight for our people. But they're too stupid and too demonic to see that, man. And we fight for the future generation. Because let's just say it is not the truth, which we know is the truth. We're fucked. Mm -hmm. This new generation coming up, that's 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 the leaders of the nation. Esau got our people totally messed up, man. Go ahead. And whoso shall receive one such little child in my name receiveth me. Mm. Go ahead. Now, now, this is what scripture we always bring out. Go ahead. But, ho but whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me. It were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck and that he were drowned in the, in the death of the sea. Mm, you see that? You see that? We always bring that scripture out. You know what? You know, keep going, man. Verse 7. Woe unto the world because of offenses, for it must needs be that offenses come. But woe to that man by whom the offense cometh. And this is offensive. For you to say we hate our women and our children? Um, That's offensive, man. All this slander. This is slander, man. We hate our children. We hate our women. We mistreat women. That's not true. Show a woman that that we know personally that will tell you the way that he treat he mistreated me. He abused me. Go ahead. And if thine cry of I offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye. Rather than having two eyes to be cast into hellfire. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Take heed that ye despise not one of these little ones. For I say unto you that in heaven their angels do always behold the face of my father which is in heaven. Mm -hmm. For the son of man is come to save that which was lost. And then it goes into the lost sheep. The man goes into, into the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's what we teach him, man. That's it. That's the main point, man. The children of Israel, the lost sheep. I mean, it gets bad, too. It goes into the lost sheep and breaks it down. But like I said, that was the main point that um, the Most High loves. He That's the commandment, to love your wives and the children. Now, we brought out yesterday through the Spirit, the wives, the multiple wives we're going to have and the children we're going to have, you know what I mean, in the kingdom. And now the Spirit has it through the Spirit. We're bringing out how you're supposed to love your wives and your children. And we love our wives and their children. You got to be a real demon to hate your wives and your children. Yeah. You got to be a real demon. All right? You got to be a real demon. But like I said before, our nation's out of order right now. The two-thirds of our women, you ain't going to make it, man. Two-thirds of our women, you going to make it. And the scripture talk about Ezekiel 9 and 4. For the men that sign and cry. And the Lord's going to take, just like in the time of Noah. Right? And the, 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 when he destroyed the earth with water. 
There was pregnant women there. There was children there. Was it uh with uh, um Elijah or Elisha with with when he called in when he called in the two bears? They they, they ate up the was it the forty children? Um, so you're gonna have a lot of these wicked monsters out here, monstrous children getting put to death, man. You know? So the most I gonna take out old old wicked men, women and children that ain't right. So this is a house, that's a cleansing agent. But you see, you got people that would take that and try to say, oh, you see, that's what the scriptures say. The Most High going to do that. Like in the time of Noah, man. And then the Lord's going to, then they're going to come back in the kingdom. That's mercy. The two-thirds, they're going to come back in the kingdom. But the scriptures say that, man. Men, love your wives and your children, man. Right now, the majority of our women, are out of order. And the children are out of order because the women are out of order. And because the men are out of order. But the Most High is going to do away with that. It's going to be an ethnic cleansing in this nation. And the Lord's going to raise up the Israelite men, the 144,000, the church, man, the church of the saints. That's what the Lord's raising up the church. And the Lord said, in this church, that's a commandment. Love your wives, love your children. We ain't going to go out to do this disaster that we're going through right now as a nation. We ain't going to go through this crap on the Esau. And the kingdom is going to be beautiful and it's going to be righteous, man. Our children are going to be happy. We're going to have many children. It said, be fruitful, multiply, shall give you the heart's desire. A little one should be as a nation. So we're going to have wives. We're going to have children. Our children are going to be happy. We're going to have big families. As far as your eyes can see, we're going to have many wives. They're going to have the, we're going to have, we, man, brother, brothers out there, man, sisters out there. We have something beautiful coming for us, man. We have something beautiful coming for us. All this wick, all this crap that we're going on in the Esau, our people being cursed on this devil, as people, as a nation, that's about to be done away with. This place is about to be a nightmare. The Lord's going to vanquish this place, man, and raise up his people, man. So we just wanted to bring that up for vibration's sake. Lord willing, this pleases the Lord, you know, and this is this one day closer to the kingdom, man, which is at the door. You know, we can feel it, man. The Spirit revealed every day, you know, every day, man, the Lord's revealing, I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming for y'all, man. Yahweh Shai is revealing that every day is one day closer. I'm coming for y'all. Just keep fighting, man. I'm about to get you out of there, man. You about, I'm, I'm going to give you the kingdom. And that's what we have faith in, man. And we love Yahweh Shai. We're waiting for him to come back. Yes, we are waiting to be redeemed as a people, man. As a nation. We call all Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shai for his mercy. You know, for giving us wisdom, knowledge, understanding, waking us up in these last days. All right? And don't lose hope and don't lose faith, man. Because the Lord is going to redeem his people and beautify the children of Israel, man. Shalom to the house of David, Peter, the rock, King David, that the Lord's going to build the church on. And in the church, the Lord said, love your wives and your children, which brothers do. But in the kingdom, in the kingdom, we're going to all our, all our wives and all our children are going to be righteous. And the men are going to be righteous, man. The Lord going to beautify all of us, man. To the church of the saints, the 144,000 and the one-third men and the women, the wives of the prophets that the men of the Lord are, are love, that are going to love, and the children that we're going to have, all the multi, the, 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 and numerous children we're going to have, man. The nation of children we're going to have. We're going to love every last child that we have. And every last wife that we have, man. Under Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, who's going to give us that. And that's the reward for the men of the Lord. Shalom.